tribulations and trials, miles and miles, yes, an epic quest. I'll show you my strength, I'll show you my speed, and I'll prove that I'm the best. You can't stop me now, can't stop me now, came too far to go. And like they said, yeah, like they said, I went hard, I won't go home. I've proven and shown every naysayer along the way. I quiet some haters, they looked and yelled, that's it, the slayer, the slaying, I did, so I'll see you later. Play the dragon, defeat the final boss, you're in it to win it, not in for the loss. The path of destiny, maybe break, lots of stone, but it's my path of destiny, the one I walk alone. How's it going, everybody? So, welcome back for another episode of uh, the random Fubar podcast, I guess what we're going to call it. That's what we're going to go with today. So, <clears throat> so if I sound a little raspy this episode, um, I'm getting over a cold right now. I've had it for the last few days now, and I'm kind of at the, the tail end of it where you start coughing everything out, blowing everything out of your nose. It's just been blocking you completely up and causing your entire face just to feel like you have a rock sitting on your face, like a boulder, you know? <laughs> so I'm constantly clearing out my throat, so I apologize ahead of time that I'm doing this. Um, if I get talking too much, my throat gets a little dry, so if I sound like I pause for too long, I'm probably taking a quick drink just because just keep my mouth, uh, my mouth and my throat a little uh, lubricated, as you can, <laughs> as uh, some people might say. So, um, but yeah. Um, so before I get started, uh, those of you guys who are watching on YouTube, uh, thank you. Do do continue to watch all the videos. Um, those of you following on SoundCloud, I appreciate it. Um, by all means, watch watch between the two. So if you can't watch the video, but you can listen to music or something while you're working. Definitely download the SoundCloud app up on your uh, your phone and whatnot. Um, so yeah. Uh, also, those of you guys who are watching YouTube, if you guys are brand new, those of you guys on SoundCloud as well, if you guys are brand new, you guys are deciding to watch the YouTube video for this because the YouTube video does get put up for this podcast. Um, that you guys can watch some of my gameplay from like Halo, Destiny, Overwatch, Battlefield. Soon to be Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, and Halo Wars here in a few months. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys are watching the video on YouTube, the intro that you guys just listened to, that was my good buddy, uh, Twill Distilled. She makes some awesome music. She actually just released a single last week for one of her friends. Uh, I am actually in the process of trying to see if she will let me um, feature the song in one of my uh, podcasts, probably uh, next week, depending on if she gets back to me. She's really busy between her like real world job and her new music and everything that she's got coming out. She has more music coming out over the next like month or so. She also does all of her own animations as far as like the animations for her videos and her um <clears throat> oh excuse me and her uh, uh what you call them. <laughs> her thumbnail, sorry. I just completely drew a blank on that word. Um, so yeah, by all means, go check her out. I have the links down on both the podcast on SoundCloud and the YouTube videos. So yeah, you guys will be able to go check her out and everything. Um, so yeah, not really too much to talk about this week. Um, biggest thing that we've uh, that we've got going on is we had uh, the Destiny release uh, last week. Last week? Week before that. Week before that, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was the week before that. So it was like two weeks ago now, almost. God, it's just... I'm sorry right now, I'm drawing a lot of blanks right now, so... <clears throat> this is a little rough for me. Being sick, I hate being sick. Uh, the one thing that seems to leave me is the fact of my brain not working. So, <laughs> bear with me as we go through this. So, I was finally able to get in and do the Rise of Iron Raid. Um, got a complete finish the other day. We just did um, we started with a bunch of friends, um, and then uh, me and one of my other buddies, or a couple actually of my other friends, we actually picked it up with uh, some of one of their friends later that night and finished it. So I actually have completely finished the raid. I have finished that section of my uh, book as far as um, uh, the achievement stuff that we have to do. So now I'm going back through trying to get the Outbreak Prime. We attempted it last night. But uh, we started at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we blasted through uh, the first boss, blasted through the Zamboni section, did the puzzle to get the chest open so that we could get the um, stuff that's needed for the Outbreak Prime. 
Um, then we got to the first phase of the final boss, blasted through it, got to the second phase at like, uh, I think it was like 5, 30, 6 o'clock my time, when we got to the second phase, and then we, we just encountered all sorts of issues. Um, we had the magical disappearing shanks, the teleporting shanks, and... Um, disappear completely disappearing uh, servitors so um, we don't know what was going on but the downside is we could not reset uh, the lobby by everybody leaving and then jumping back in because for those of you who have not done the outbreak prime yet and correct me if I'm wrong but everything we have seen says that this is true that you have to do the outbreak prime quest uh, the uh, TV line the host is not allowed to leave the lobby that you're in. <clears throat> so by the mo the moment the six of you jump in to a fresh raid, you have to do a complete clear to um, to the last chest to get the stuff that you need for the outbreak the outbreak prime quest line. The words cannot word today. Um, you have to do it completely through. The host is not allowed to leave at all. Um, everybody else can leave and pop in and out as needed, but the host must stay in there. If the host disconnects and completely disconnects to where they don't get put back in, that's the end of it. You have to restart. Um, like I said, if you guys have seen otherwise, please correct me. Um, but everything that we have seen online, uh, has shown just that. Um, so yeah. But, um... Yeah, the uh, the TVs. There's five TVs that you've got to get. Uh, the first TV is right after you kill the very first boss. Not the not the section where you have to kill him to get into the raid. The section where you actually like kill him, kill him. Um, in room two on the left, which is the one not directly to your left. It's the one just slightly to the right as you're looking on that one. There's a vent. You jump up in the vent. There's a uh, tube that you can follow down, go over, get the TV, get the TV, you're good to go. Jump out. Um, there's another TV in the jumping puzzle just after that. Don't ask me where it is exactly, I just know that it's there. Um, third TV is in... Uh, right after you kill the Zamboni, right after the Zamboni goes off the wall. Um, what you do is you get through the Zamboni phase, jump off the back of the Zamboni so it goes off. The, uh, the front or the hole in the tower there's over near where he where the wall was that he destroys before driving off there's off on the right hand side of the bridge you'll actually see a big like uh, pyramid looking thing shoot the pyramid thing it blows a hole in the wall and you can <clears throat> jump down in there and you just follow it back and there's a TV in there and it blows open a section of uh, the ground up where you were fighting and everything um, jump down, the next one is actually in just past the server room. Um, this is the one that a lot of people had missed, so a lot of people were completely going past it and not even realizing the, uh, puzzle. Everybody thought it was something completely separate. Um, go through the server room, kill everybody, and then you just follow through out to a pyramid, and there's a bunch of, like, canister-looking things down off the bridge in the, uh, the water. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, um, you go down there, and all of that actually is linked. That is actually how you get one of the teams. So, what you do is there's a code. Um, I'll have to do a run-through on it and uh, record it for everybody to be able to watch it on YouTube. Uh, there's plenty of them that are currently out there. If you just want to search um, server room TV on, like, YouTube, there's actually some pretty good walkthroughs. Um... There's a binary, there's like a whole binary code, everybody has to be standing in the right spot. You have to jump right onto the certain pillars. If you don't jump them on, jump on them, you're really loud sounds that just says, Oh, you messed up. Good job. <laughs> and um, so yeah, it's it's it that one took us a little while to actually get it right because when you're jumping to the pillars that are down in like the water, I think is what it is. Um, when you're jumping to them, if you land on another one, 
while going to the one that you're supposed to be on, you mess the whole thing up. So you have to restart it. And the code is different every time. I have yet to see it where the code is repeated. Um, we did it like f uh, seven or eight times before we finally got it. And then... Um, and the code was different each time. I mean, it may have started the same way, um, but it goes through four, four codes. You have to figure out the four death, the four sequence on one TV and the four sequence on the other TV that gives you your column and your oh, what's it called? Uh, column and row, and you have to jump to the TV where those two intersect, or the thing where the pillar where they intersect. So. <clears throat> So yeah, that one was that one was tricky, but if you do it right, the big pyramid in the middle of that room actually opens up the bottom. You jump in there. There's a chest that gives you the first time you get it, guaranteed um, exotic engram and a guaranteed uh, emblem. So yeah, um, that's one thing you can do. And then oh, excuse me. And then there's a TV right there. You hit that TV, you're good to go. Uh, the fifth and final TV is after you kill the boss for the second time. Where you jump, the pad you jump down in on, if you turn around it kind of comes to a point from the left and right side. It comes to a point. Um, you're going to look at that and you're going to go to your right, so you're going to follow, face the boss, you're going to follow the left side of that uh, railing that's directly behind you. Follow it, after you kill the second boss there's going to be an opened area, like an opened, like a hatch had fallen down. Jump down on the hatch, go in there, the TV you see, that drops the fifth laser, which you can run down the hallway. Um, so you were able to run down there, and there's a chest down at the very end. It gives you your engram for the quantum outbreak, and that will actually start a quest line for the quantum outbreak. So if you thought you were just getting a free gun, you're, you were wrong. You actually have to do a quest line after doing this secret code to get the actual gun. Um, I have seen the gun a few times. Have I played with it myself? No. I wish I have, but I have not. A um, couple of friends that I play with actually do already have it. They absolutely love it. Um, it looks like it's a... Uh, not having the chance to play with it yet, it really looks like a, um, a bad juju. Uh, with like a little bit of a thorn effect. So if you know what I'm talking about, the bad juju, you're able to like really pull the trigger. You're able to, able to do a three round burst and pull and hold, pull and hold your trigger, and it actually continues firing. And it has a really good uh, uh, headshot uh, to it. So, and then if you don't know what the thorn is, those of you who haven't been playing since year one, or just picked up year th with the year three and are brand new and already have the thorn quest, you've already started using the thorn. So you can actually see, you know, you got the damage over time and you got the pulse rifle uh, effect of the uh, number of the, <laughs> of the bad juju with the full auto. So yeah, if you guys have been able to play with it, congratulations, you guys have done something I haven't been able to do. Because unfortunately I do it with the same group of people and we're only off one, maybe two days together a week so we're just we're just trying to get it figured out right now like uh, a couple of the guys who tend to put this together we they aren't off again until next Tuesday um, so I might look today and see if I can get on get it done I'm not sure yet honestly <coughs> oh, excuse me so um but we got a couple games that are coming out over these uh, next like couple weeks if I remember correctly um, I, if I remember correctly, Titanfall 2 here in about a week. Um, let's see, y'all. Let me look it up. Titanfall 2. <laughs> Titanfall 2. Let's go to the website. <laughs> um, let's see, is it on here? Comes out October 28th. And if I remember correctly, Battlefield 2 comes out like the week after that. Or Battlefield 1, sorry. Battlefield 1. Uh, Battlefield 1 website. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking at all this stuff on my phone, so that's why you don't hear me like vigorously clicking away. Um, 1021, so it comes out the week before.
for Titanfall. So it's going to be really interesting because I have both of these games on pre-order. I actually paid the little extra for Battlefield 1. So I'm getting the pre-enlistment bonus stuff, which is really cool. So I'll get I'll get it like a couple days before everybody who just did the regular game itself. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really excited to get in there. I think let's see for Battlefield, I am excited for the play uh, for the online. I love the online. Can't wait to get on there and actually get going. They really changed how the um, leveling system works, which is pretty nice. Um, as far as Titanfall 2, I am excited for the fact of a single player campaign style mission. Um, that was what really lacked in uh, Titanfall 1, the original one, when the Xbox One first came out. So um, it's going to be interesting to see an actual storyline to it. Um, for those of you who did play Titanfall, uh, have played Titanfall, they're probably yelling at me right now. Yes, Titanfall did have kind of a campaign, but, big but to that, it it was a multiplayer uh, campaign-ish uh, mode to it. You played through a somewhat story, um, dependent on how certain things happen in each level, depicted what happened in the next level, like uh, extra troops or extra Titan dropping or whatnot um it was it was different that was for sure so it was so yes i will acknowledge that there was a titanfall one campaign ish campaign ish um mode but it really wasn't it's not the campaign that i like not the campaign that i'm used to where it's an actual like story that you're playing through start to finish to figure out what the hell the game is all about just like um just like with Call of Duty, every every single one has its own campaign, and then a lot of the stuff you do in campaign plays over into the uh, into the online. Um, same with Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield has a really huge campaign where you actually, if you play through it, it actually unlocks different things for your uh, character for the online. So you can unlock other guns, weapons, or weapons, vehicles, extra things for your different classes. So. I would definitely be playing through the Battlefield 1 uh, campaign as fast as possible before I play online, um, just so I can get all these different guns unlocked by doing different things. So yeah, um, ugh, that one hurt me. Breathed out just right. Made the back of my nose pop. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't know that, I'm sorry. But, um, um, one minute left. let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, I'm working on a uh, new montage for my channel. Uh, this one I'm actually doing, so it's not going to be as good as that first one that was done by my buddy uh, Xander. Uh, if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll put it at the end of the video for YouTube. Um, I'll probably put... I'll actually... Take it back. I probably... Not that I probably will. I actually... I will. I will put the video link at the end of the... At the uh, comments down below for the podcast. So you guys can go check that out from there if you guys want to um let's see what else i think we're gonna go ahead and start closing this out so um for those of you guys who are watching on youtube thank you appreciate it you guys continue to do do what you do watch the video uh like i said if you guys want to you know you download soundcloud you can listen to me on there uh the link is always down in the description for the videos uh, and likewise, for you, you people on SoundCloud, if you actually want to watch the video that I put up for this, it's usually just something from what I've played, I've recorded. You guys can go watch a video while you listen to me just jammer on about random stuff, you know? Like I did at the beginning where I'm telling you guys I'm sick and I'm just, ugh, you know? Um, <laughs> but like always, definitely follow me on Twitter, go follow my buddy Twill, and I will, guys, I will keep you guys posted on like new music from her. Hopefully I'll have something for you guys next week with her videos. Thanks you guys, have a good one. Stand in the way, block the path I need, I need. Is this my path to do big victory? Are you the final judgment? Do you hold the key, the key, blocking my path of destiny?